Which of these three heroes should you level, or do you need all three? Only, it's only game. Why do you have to be mad? What is up, heroes of Dominion? My name is Charlie. This is Hero War Central, and in today's video, I want to talk about three mage, magic, debuff, whatever, countering heroes in the game of Hero Wars on Facebook and web. Uh, Hero Wars mobile players, this isn't necessarily going to be a video for you. Maybe consider just leaving a like, uh, watching it if you want to learn a little bit more about the Facebook version of the game, but we are going to be dealing a lot with Facebook stuff here. So with that disclaimer out of the way, what am I talking about? Well, the twins are a problem. We know about the twins. Lars and Krista, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna build a team here, but Lars and Krista, Satori, ODH, that's Orion, Dorian, Helios. These mage teams are strong teams, and they should be. The synergy is high. They do a lot of damage. They, uh, they're they easy to build around. They're not necessarily easy to build, but magic damage teams have been uh, strong for a long time, which is fine. You know, physical teams are strong as well, but uh, for the longest time, one of the best ways to counter magic damage teams was with the use of Cornelius. Now, the cool thing about Cornelius is he does not require a ton of investment because this heavy wisdom ability does so much damage. Hits the enemy with the highest intelligence with a monolith, dealing damage proportionally to their intelligence. It doesn't matter what Cornelius' stats are as long as you're maxed out level and your skill level here is maxed out. He has some other stuff too. Protective Dome, increases magic defense, Rune of Suppression, reduces magic attack, and then the, the memory loss, uh, reducing the first skill level. I mean, this is a overall effective kit to counter mages. And what would often happen is you would sub in Cornelius to crush the enemy Lars. Now, people got smart and started building up Krista to have higher intelligence than Lars. So kind of, you know, there's different ways to get around that, but Cornelius, uh, by himself lost some effectiveness, but you should still use Cornelius for some of the campaign bosses. Some of these, let's see, let's uh, let's scroll all the way over here. Some of these these uh, frozen visage bosses. These guys just freeze your entire team over and over and over again. Cornelius is a good way to counter those. And then in the chapter 14 and 15, these uh, let's see, is it the yeah the the priest of Seymour? These guys are insanely good healers and without a cornelius without a properly buffed cornelius to crush these guys you're gonna have a hard time defeating these you can use like celeste or other things too but cornelius has his use but unless he's going to be in your main team which i don't recommend anybody puts cornelius in their main team i wouldn't recommend investing that many stats into him i wouldn't i wouldn't max out his glyphs and you can see here i i don't uh, I wouldn't max out his artifacts. Um, I'm working on him because I, I just didn't have anybody else to put gray artifacts into at the time. Uh, maybe maybe his you know his uh, gift of the elements to give him more health. I don't know, but I wouldn't invest the time into him because he, he doesn't need a ton to be effective in the campaign and he doesn't need all that much to be effective in player versus player. A little while later, um, around New Year's Eve holiday, you know, the holidays last year, 2019 slash 2020, Sebastian was added to the game. And Sebastian is on both Facebook and mobile. Uh, on mobile, his ultimate will remove curses and stuns. On Facebook and web, he removes all debuffs and blocks debuffs for 15 total debuffs. So uh, he blocks watermarks being applied to your team. He blocks uh, Foxfire marks from Satori. He blocks curses. He blocks all kinds of stuff. So. I see this statement thrown around quite a bit, that Sebastian is the most important hero on Hero Wars Facebook. And I I don't disagree most of the time. This one ability right here, and again, you don't even need to have him that invested. You know, this is just based on his level and the skill level. There are other things that, you know, that matter too. This this public idol, this is important. This is, this is how he ults before everybody else does. Uh, he starts combat with more energy than everybody else. So you do want to get his physical attack and, you know, his health up there a little bit so that he doesn't, you know, just fall over immediately. This guy right here became the de facto twins counter. The twins do most of their damage through the application and uh, execution of watermarks. And if you have a hero that constantly removes watermarks, then, you know, it's, it's a no-brainer. Sub him in and you're gonna be able to counter the twins easily. It doesn't really counter the Orion, Dorian, Helios teams that much, but it certainly does help against Satori teams and other, you know, mage teams that you might, you know, like a Leon team or um, any team with Jorgen, really. 
you know. So so this this became the de facto magic team killer. You still wanted to level up Cornelius, you did, but you didn't need to invest in him. You just had him for the campaign and, and that was that. And then along comes Isaac. Now Isaac, Isaac is gonna do a little bit of both. All right, Isaac is gonna do a little bit of both. Isaac, we've talked about Isaac a number of times, but Isaac has an ultimate that silences the enemy team and he can do it quite frequently because of his green ability, which gains his charge faster than his normal energy gain would for a for normal energy hero. And he's not affected by Satori. So this guy is an, uh, a significantly better counter to the twins than Sebastian ever could be. And since he's silencing, he will effectively counter those frozen visages and those Priest of Seymour's in the campaign. So this guy, this guy, not only does he do a ton of damage with his pilot ability, once it gets ramped up going, this this does a lot of damage, guys. Uh, he, he He's really good at, you know, squashing those magic teams. So then the question becomes, do you need to level up all three of these heroes? And I think, I think the answer is yes, you should. And let me talk about why, let me talk about why. On Facebook and web, eventually, and I know I know for a lot of you early to mid game players, it doesn't seem like this, but eventually you will get to the point that you have all of your main five heroes at level 130. And then you'll start working on your second team of heroes at 130. And then you'll start working on your third team of heroes getting to 130. And it's gotten to the point now that I think half, half or more of my heroes are at 130, level 130. Okay, so it's really easy to invest extra XP potions into Cornelius, okay? I have no gold issues at all. I have 4.7 million gold here, but I could go, uh, I can go up here to the Titan shop, the Circle of Summoning, you know, get 10 spheres exchanged in. Now this this matters because I'm in, a, I'm in a nice guild, but I get those and then I convert them at the merchant for, you know, for gold and boom, I just made 4 million more gold because all of my, all of my Titans are max level. My, my main team, I should say. So I don't have an issue with gold either. So there's really no reason for me to not get Cornelius to max level 130 and max out his skills because we're just talking about XP potions that you're gonna earn every day anyway and uh, gold that I have just too much of. And again, I'm not trying to gloat. This is just simply the case. After you after you max out the tower, after you max out one or two or, or five of your Titans, you're just gonna have a ton of gold. That's just how it's gonna be. So level up Cornelius. He's gonna make the campaign so much easier, especially if you boost him with Nebula. He's gonna make the campaign so much easier. Sebastian. Sebastian is a pretty hard counter to any teams with Jorgen, to any teams with the Twins, with uh, Satori. Fantastic hero. Not only does he do that, but his intended use, the reason why he is a who he is, is to boost physical attacking teams, specifically critical hit teams. And in the, in the game of Hero Wars, you want to build three separate teams. I would recommend building at least one critical hit team. And if not a critical hit team, then maybe a dodge team that has some critical hit components in it. I like Sebastian a lot. Is he the absolute best hero in the game now that Isaac is out? I don't know. I don't know yet. I haven't so searched my soul enough <laughs> to answer that question. But Isaac, Isaac is a must level and must kit out. You need to definitely invest in Isaac. I'm only at 24,000 power level here. I need to get him to 50,000 to 60,000 to 80,000 power as soon as possible. There's a lot of twins teams on my server. Okay. There's a lot of, a lot of, uh, um, hyper defensive teams. No, a lot of people think about how this guy counters mages, but have you, have you thought about how he counters timeout teams? There's a lot of timeout teams on Facebook and web guys because of the higher, the higher defenses than, uh, than mobile. Mobile is a little bit more strategic about their defense, but you could have it, you know, you could put a pretty solid timeout team on defense and, and be just fine, you know, be just fine. This is going to negate all of the mages, all of the magical tanks like Astroth and Aurora. This is, Isaac is amazing. Isaac is amazing. So I, I, I know that maybe you came into this video hoping to get an answer about, you know, should I only level two or one of these three heroes? But in my opinion, on some level, you should level all three of these, but only when you have the resources to do so. I would level Isaac from the get. From the get-go, I would level him up as a seventh or maybe an eighth hero. Level up your team, 
you know, your Twins team, your Kark team, your Satori team, your Jew team, whatever, and level up Isaac as, you know, an alternate hero. Um, if you don't need Sebastian, then even more so, you should level him up. If, if Sebastian is in your main team, a little bit less emphasis on Isaac is needed, but eventually you still will want Isaac leveled up. And like I said with Cornelius, it doesn't hurt to throw a couple XP potions and a little bit of gold his way every now and then because you just don't need to invest in him that much in order for him to be super effective in the campaign. So I hope that I was clearer than I think that I was on this video. I feel like I ran, rambled a little bit, uh, and, I, and for that I do apologize, but all three of these heroes are incredible at you know, dealing with mage teams, both in the campaign and in the arena. And they all have their strengths and weaknesses. They both have, they're all three have their great use cases. Um, and it, you know, doesn't hurt to level them all three up when you have the chance to. So that's it. I love you all. Good luck in Dominion.